Hey, happy Wednesday, my loves. How's everybody doing on this hump day? All right, what jumped out of the deck was the world card. Okay, so this is the opportunity card, card of opportunity, if you will. All right, for the entire world. So guys, this is great news. All right, are we waiting on an opportunity that is coming to the entire world? Hmm, okay, let's get going. Also, guys, I just want to remind you, anyone who's interested in this $15 reading I offer can click on the description below the video and email me. All right, and let's get started with today's reading for my beautiful lights. All right, first thing up, guys, I'm seeing somebody is feeling, uh, wow, okay. So there's some kind of opportunity that has come up or for whatever reason you're feeling upset. Okay, in connection to it, it looks like there's something um, that's irritating you or making you lose sleep uh, and feeling defensive. And you're very focused at the same time on this opportunity. So I don't know if, if an opportunity came up that you maybe lost or why you're so focused on an opportunity and at the same time feeling really upset about it. This could be somebody who, you know, has this huge opportunity before you, but you might be frightened of it, not really knowing if you'll be able to um, handle it. All right. Well, if this is you, please comment. Okay. Because I'd be very interested in knowing the scenario there. That's all I have on that. Um, now, for somebody, I'm seeing your happiness is at stake. Something regarding your finances. There's a tower moment here for you. All right. So I don't know. You're trying to be strong. This is a masculine I'm talking to. All right. But something uh, looks like um, looks like you were working really hard towards something that was going to you thought was going to bring in success. And um, you've been working really hard on this. You've been being really strong with it. And something is happening here to create this tower moment. All right. Let's see if I can get more. I'm seeing more stuckness. I'm seeing um, your family feeling confused. And something to do with this masculine and feminine over here. This looks like uh, maybe your parents. Okay. Mom and dad over here. And some confusion. Um, with the family and some kind of stuckness here. All right, let's go forward. Oh boy. Okay. There's the windfall card guys. This is the unexpected windfall. I'm seeing some of you are just done. Okay. You're tired of hearing about this. You're actually, you know, at your wits end financially. Um, you're trying to get clarity. You're trying to figure out you know, how to get through life right now, but you're, you're giving up on the idea of this, um, finance that is coming in. There's a lot of positivity in this card, guys. This is not just about an unexpected windfall. This is, you know, a lot of positivity that is coming in, uh, just strictly for the individual. So for my Aquarius is, not only do you have this angelic protection that is in this card, okay, but you also have like a um, a lot of positive things that are meant just strictly for you. So each of you has different uh, things coming in, depending on what you've wanted, depending on what is going to behoove you. The things in here, there's nothing negative in here for you. It's all positive and this is coming your way. But your feeling, your emotion today is you just want to give up. You're just like forgetting about the idea of this and just trying to think of, you know, how to fix your broken heart and how you're going to get through this, this time period. Okay. Cause it seems like things might be getting worse for you. And I'm only speaking to who this is resonating with. Okay. Here, I'm seeing some kind of, uh, looks like healing for this Knight of Pentacles here. All right. And I'm seeing a justice coming in for you really quick. So this is a masculine who's been praying and needing healing. All right. Something uh, came over you. All right. It's important, guys, when you're sick. Okay. If, if you know, you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, you have this disease or you have that. 
okay it's important for you to understand that if you're holding on to negativity from the past this creates something in your body uh, your brain actually controls your body that's why when doctors tell people you have a week to live or you have a month to live uh, once that gets saturated in your brain, your brain will shut your body off if you believe that wholeheartedly, okay? And that will come to fruition. But this is for somebody, this is a masculine who is ill with something, all right? And you've been praying, all right? Make sure that if there's anything you're holding on to from the past that is burdening you, um, that, that you're carrying around with you like a weight on your shoulders, please work through that somehow go to a quiet place, go back to the moment that, that, you know, whatever that damning thing was that happened, go back into that moment and try to work through it. Try to look at where it came from, whom it came from, why you think it might have came from them and then let it go let it go out to the universe okay and just you know this could have a positive um you know outcome with with your health okay if you are free of um things negative things that you're holding on to okay because i'm seeing a justice coming in for you very quickly with the spiritual card so connect to spirit and uh you know, always guys, always try to get rid of, don't hold on to the past. There's no reason for it. We no longer need to hold on to the past. Those were lessons and teachings that we agreed to go through before we came back. The fact that we don't remember these things doesn't mean that it, it that's not how it happened. Okay. And that's absolutely how it happens. Um, God gave us eternal life and our purpose is to keep coming back. All right. And we, we take on this human body so that we can experience um, the life of, you know, having feelings, emotions, touching, um, all these different things. But we do agree before we come back to go through everything we've gone through. So just let it go. It's time to move on. We're moving into a whole new uh, time, uh, a timeline. Uh, which we also came back here to enjoy at this time, to be alive at this time because of what is coming, all right? And you guys that don't know what's coming or don't believe it, you know, that that's sad because you're missing out on a time where you should be feeling like Christmas is coming and you're five years old, you know? So here I'm seeing a king of wands and a queen of pentacles. All right. So I feel like you're a couple, um, and you're going through something like juggling your finances right now, um, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul and just not having a good time. Okay. With your money situation. But over here, one of you, if not both of you, is going to be experiencing this new financial um, offering, uh, a new financial start, and this is going to be the outcome, okay? This is, uh, the Nine of Pentacles is when you are independent, you are successful, you are wealthy, okay? Very wealthy, and you don't have a care in the world, okay? You're going to experience um, trips. You're going to, you know, if that's what you're into, you're going to be able to see the world. You're going to be able to purchase things um, and, and do things you've, you've never thought you'd be able to before. Okay. This is coming to light for you. So you have something to look forward to guys. All right. Here I'm seeing the magician, which is the manifestation card. Okay next to this king of swords now this is a masculine who has really good boundaries you're very decisive you are going to be same thing here guys the ten of pentacles is in the center all right so there's a lot of money involved here there's also a king of cups over here and there's a lot going on with this king of cups that people are not aware of this Okay, I'm talking to this King of Swords right now. 
all right you're manifesting in this ten of pentacles all right and there's also a king of cups this might be a brother or somebody connected to you um who is um there's just a lot going on. This could be a lot going on behind the scenes that you're both unaware of, okay? Because it looks like you're manifesting this and this King of Cups is also going to um, be part of this, okay? So I don't know if you're each getting your own monies or if this is going to be from something that you're both working on right now, but the Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money and it's like the total package. When you receive this card in the reading, guys, you've arrived, okay? You have money. Here's the unexpected windfall, all right? There's a lot of money talk in this reading today, guys, okay? So, you know, finances looking up for a lot of you. Here I'm seeing this Queen of Wands. Expect some kind of communication coming in that is going to be regarding some kind of financial deceit, unfortunately, for you. All right? And uh, this may have come in already for somebody. If it has, please comment. I'm sending you love and light, all right? This is also, um, regarding this money, it's a lot of money, all right? And this is something that you've been waiting for for a long time, and you feel that this was taken from you, all right? And right now, you're feeling uh, like you're not being valued whatsoever, all right? Here is the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is basically a wish. My Aquarius is want this yesterday they want to feel secure they want to feel independent and have money in the bank okay they don't want to worry about paying their bills anymore and borrowing from peter to pay paul and having all these restrictions and sadness um, in their life because of money all right something is coming that's going to change all of these emotions for you guys all right it's going to be like a great transformation and a victory all right and i'm seeing the empress in the middle in this reading this is representing um seeds being planted okay the empress is also about um oh let me think i'm trying to think of a word here that i want to uh, say just something seeds being planted fertile ground being planted seeds being planted in fertile ground okay so a huge transformation and fertile ground here being planted to bring in this victory all right so for those of you feeling ignored right now and wanting something the thing you're wanting is coming to fruition for you guys look at this these two cards are side by side this is the card of want and this is the card that what you're wanting is coming to fruition this is the card of unity here people are going to unite over this i'm seeing guys all right so those of you who are feeling ignored all right right now there are some kind of decisions being made over the things that you've been wanting, all right? And this is going to create some kind of unity uh, amongst my Aquarians, all right? My Aquariuses, uh, possibly even the planet, okay? Um, there might be something here also about um, traveling. So for some of you, you might be planning a trip or you might be getting ready to travel with a significant other, it looks like. All right. And here, guys, I'm seeing some kind of movement um, regarding this Knight of Cups here. So I feel like there's a masculine who's trying to get next to this uh, boss figure. You're moving toward this boss figure. I don't want to say kissing butt, but you're kind of trying to get on his good side, all right? Because you're feeling like if you can get on his good side, your finances are going to improve. There might be um, some kind of, uh, I just heard something, but it slipped away. S like a, there's some kind of niche or a slot or a, a, a um, there's something here that's open right now. And so you're trying to get on the good side of your boss so that you could get 
get in there. You, you're trying to get your foot in the door for something, an opening. There's a crack in the door and you're trying to get in there, okay? Uh, if this is you, please comment. Also, um, let me see. I'm seeing a decision being made here. Somebody's using their intuition this morning, all right? And it has to do with uh, whether or not uh, things are going to turn out uh, for your happiness or you're going to be left feeling out in the cold. And you know that you have to make the right decision here for yourself, for your happiness, so you can balance things out. All right, guys, unfortunately, we have to put ourselves on a pedestal. We have to put ourselves first, okay? Because um, the, the, the thought of taking care of other people before you, that has been that has suppressed everybody. It has been a big lie. We don't depend on other people to bring us security or happiness or to build our insides uh, to where we're feeling really good about ourselves and secure and, you know, where we have a, a great insight into who we are and who we want to be. We're coming into our authenticity, which means that you're focusing on you, your happiness. When we focus on other people to bring these things in for us, we end up disappointed, right? Because people come and go. People come and go. Um, even, you know, when we're in a marriage and we want to think that that person is going to be there for us, with us until they pass or we pass, that doesn't always happen that way, right? Sometimes, you know, marriages break up. So in the end, guys, we are our own security. And if somebody wants to, you know, spend time with us, that's icing on the cake, right? So there's a decision being made. You guys have to make this decision and use your intuition on it. It's about your happiness and how you're going to balance things out for yourselves in your own lives. We have to find our own careers, job positions, things that make us happy so we're not miserable at work every day, you know. And guys, if you're in a job where you're totally miserable, feeling left out in the cold financially, maybe feeling undervalued, don't stay there, okay? Go out and line up some interviews and just tell them you're not, you don't want them to contact your boss. You don't know if you're leaving yet or not. You're just wanting to see what's available. Go toward things you enjoy that you're not going to hate, you know, looking at the clock all day, waiting for the day to come to an end. All right. That is a miserable life. And, you know, we've been like pointed in that direction. Like just find any job, just find a job. You need a job. You need to work. You need money. Right. So, um, you know, you can still keep that job and keep your finances coming in and find something you absolutely love. Okay. No matter how long it takes, strive for that. All right. I'm seeing some defensiveness. Uh, something just ended for someone spirit. You're stuck. Okay. Spirit is saying everything's going to be okay. As a matter of fact, this ending as painful as it might be for you, is bringing in the Ace of Wands, meaning that the negativity that came in with whatever this thing was that ended, there was a lot of negativity attached to it. And now you're going to disconnect from all that negativity and allow this Ace of Wands to come in. So guys, you're allowing this in now, which is like, I just heard prospering. All right. So when you can't focus, on your finances or even your thoughts, like where you want to be in life, where you should be. And you're not thinking about your life and where you want to go because you have all these downtrodden thoughts in your mind. It holds you back, right? All right. Don't let anything hold you back, Aquarius, because you are on fire. You're on fire. Look at you. Okay. This is uh, for all of my empaths out there, actually. Okay. And a majority of you are empaths. Okay. Spirit is saying you're, you're, wow. Okay. So 
this is a very, this is a highly spiritual card next to you. They're viewing you as the star. Okay. They're telling you that have all of the utmost confidence in yourself because a lot of you don't know who you are. You don't know how powerful and how special you are and how spirit views you. Okay. And some of you are still holding on to things from the past that are not helping you that are not bringing you happiness okay these old emotions guys carrying them around does nothing for you okay so it's causing some conflict but they're saying that you know you're an intuitive so use your intuition on this use your intuition on how to let go of these emotions and you are going to uh they're saying you're already, you don't know how special you are. You're already on fire, guys. You're on fire. You're on fire. All right. And you can just create a life for yourselves that you can't imagine how happy and beautiful your life can be. It's all up to you. It's all your own choices. And that's why they're saying, guys, that you are on fire and maybe you don't know it. All right, so guys, that is the reading. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, share out the video. It's going to help a lot. All right, I feel like something's going on lately. Um, not really sure. A lot of people are feeling this way on YouTube. Um, we're going through some crazy times, okay? Have to be careful what we talk about, what, you know, how we present things. And sometimes um, we get messed with. So love you guys. I love you all and have a beautiful hump day. Take care.